let's talk about my thoughts on unions in digital media because they're a very popular topic at the moment as BuzzFeed News says they're gonna unionize, Vox is already unionized, Vice is already unionized, and Huffington Post is already unionized. What are my thoughts on them? My thoughts are, you're an adult, grow up. A union is a waste of time. <laughs> and people say I'm too soft on the media, you know, or I'm too, go too easy on them in some videos. In this case, I'm not. I'm just being real. I don't know what you're getting out of unions in media. You're a creative. What is a union gonna do for you? Save your job? It's not saving your job at Vice. It hasn't it in the past? It's not saving your job at Huffington Post? You think it's gonna save your job at BuzzFeed? No. My guess is it will accelerate the rate at which BuzzFeed News is spun off from the rest of the company. As BuzzFeed News hemorrhages money, and the rest of the company does not. So generally, the main argument for unions is that they protect the worker. There's workers' rights, right? Fighting against the big evil company, the capitalists. You know, what evil capitalists are there in digital media? Especially like digital media news companies. And this comes from a person whose first job was McDonald's and wears a Carhartt jacket. I'm from the Midwest. You would think I'd be, you know, pro-union. And that's not to say I'm not pro-union in some industries. I think sometimes it's beneficial when you're a public school teacher or if you're an assembly line worker for an automaker like General Motors. Then it makes sense, right? Because you're negotiating with either the federal government or a publicly traded company that is seeing profits and dividends. But in the terms of venture-backed media or private equity media, of whom are you negotiating with? Who are these greedy capitalists that are taking all the money, right? There's no money to be taken. It's investor money. When profits are realized, perhaps you can go to the negotiating table. But until then, what, to whom are you negotiating with? The people that are paying their own money to pay your salary? You know, with the hopes that you will eventually do some work that'll make a profit for them? That's the whole point that your job or this, you know, company exists. It's a bet. A bet that they believe in you. <laughs> Generally, they believe in you. And they believe in the company and they want to see it succeed. When you unionize and then you want to go back and say, well, we want more you know, money or we want more benefits or we don't like the working conditions, you know, I'm sympathetic that maybe you're not getting paid enough. You probably aren't or that like maybe the benefits are then great or maybe the working conditions are long. I agree, but you took the job. I, you know, I don't understand how it's magically some different job than you imagined. You know, it's it is what it is. Quit. Find a different job. On top of that. Unions have a tendency to make static your job position in the company. So if you're a writer, then that's your position as a writer. If you're a producer, that's your position as a producer. And then your job duties, they get outlined and defined in very concrete terms. And as a creative, personally, I would abhor that. You know, what is the point? I want to be able to move around, shift around in a company. I'd like to be able to do different things, learn different abilities. You know, maybe I see an opportunity or a window to, to learn video, or to learn how to write, or to learn how to curate or you know, whatever it may be. When you become part of a union, those opportunities get drastically reduced because the union has to define very explicitly what each people's job roles are and what kind of job roles there are and how much they pay and what the rate of pay rises are, what the rate of promotion is. So no, as a creative, you know, I, I don't see it. What, what do you hope to accomplish? You hope to just lock yourself in? And the, you know, I'm a creative, I'm a writer advice, I want to be just a writer. You know, I, I don't get it. That's me personally. I also don't get, you know, what are they going to negotiate for? The employees advice, which were unionized as they got laid off these past couple of weeks, they got the exact same terms that the people at BuzzFeed got when they got laid off. BuzzFeed wasn't unionized. Vice was. Now BuzzFeed News wants to unionize. What's going to be the difference? You know, I, I don't, I don't get it. I think people get seduced into this idea of unions. You know, that the union is going to work on behalf of you to negotiate a better deal against, you know, like I said, the, the corporation. But in this case, the corporation is people putting up their own money, investing in you, hoping that you will eventually make them money. That money has yet to be realized. You know, it's like turn over your coffers. Well, our, our coffers are my own, you know, they're empty. <laughs> you haven't made us any profits yet. You know, make us some profits, then let's negotiate. So, no. I think, you know, if you're, if you're working in digital media, grow up. The union's a waste of time. Especially if you're going to be paying union dues. Like what, are the, what do you get? I have yet to see one of these unions working for Vice or Huffington Post or any of these digital media companies really do anything beneficial for the workers. 
Maybe I'm missing it, but I don't think I am. I think people have a very narrow view of their job role and how they fit into the larger industry, and they don't have a eagle eye view on what actual market forces are at play in digital media. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on uh, unions in the media. Maybe they're controversial, but uh, yeah, that's how I feel about them. Anyway, you're welcome to change my mind. Hope you guys have a good one. Click around if you want to watch another video.